Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today, Nick and I are out here and we are about to shoot our bows. Or I'm going to shoot my bow. Did you bring your recurve? No. So I'm going to shoot my bow today. Nick is going to film and I finally have stickers to put on my site. I have a good idea of where 20, 30, 40 is but I haven't actually put a sticker on my site and I have a tag that opens up in a couple of days. But I'm rolling with it. I'm just so thankful that my bow is finally shootable, huntable, because as you know, I was having issues with putting my rest on and my D-loop and my peep, my fletchings, everything. So let's get to shooting. Don't my arrows look like they're flying so much better? My grouping was a couple inches to the left, so I'm moving my sight to the left. So here's my grouping at 20 yards. I am shooting way better than I was before, so I'm very happy with this group. Um, clearly we're still a little bit left, so I'm going to move the sight left, probably shoot another round, and then I'm going to start backing up. Okay, so this is my 30 yard grouping. You can tell this one was a wild one and it was just one of those bad shots. It's like I kind of collapsed and punched the trigger and you know, it was just a bad shot. So I'm gonna take this one out. <laughs> but if you look at this grouping here, it's pretty darn good. A touch to the right, which probably means I moved my sight a little too far left last round. So I'm going to adjust for that and then I'm going to step back to 40. This is exciting. So adjusted my sight. One tip that I have, especially when you're sighting in a bow, is to take a little time in between each shot. I was quite literally stretching and moving my arms around. I actually set my bow down because you know, you'll get fatigued and then that can change your shot. So when you're sighting in, definitely take a breather in between shots. If you're just practicing, you know, keep going, build those muscles up. But for sighting in, take it slow. Walk with me and then we'll talk. Well, it is not what I was hoping for. Here is my group at 40 yards. So, clearly the sight needs to go down more, but my left and right was a little bit all over the place. This is 40 yards, round two. Please do not judge me on how horrific my draw looks currently. Like I said in my last video, I recently upped my poundage from about 52 and I'm now shooting, I think 58. It could be closer to 59, I'm not quite sure. Either way, I'm still getting used to it. So after two shots, it gets really rough and it does not look pretty. So I understand, you know, that it's gonna take a little time for me to get used to it, but I still wanna show you guys this because, you know, because this is really how it is whenever you increase the poundage of your bow and are getting used to it. It looks good. 
We are getting closer. I think if you combine those three shots, it's still just a smidge low, but not by much. I mean, this guy was pretty much perfect. Those two were just a little farther south. So I think I should probably shoot a couple more groups, but I mean, we're pretty much there. I feel very accomplished because I was struggling with this bow so much, not with the bow, with setting it up, you know what I mean. And I was so close to just taking it to someone and be like, please set this up for me because I can't for the life of me figure it out. And I kept working with it, kept researching things, your comments helped. So thank you guys, you should feel part of this. I'm ready to hunt. So that is going to conclude this video, my friends. Nick and I are about to go ride our bikes, which is so exciting. We just got them and they're so much fun. So that will be a separate video. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I'll see you guys in the next video.